This simple blog about raising chickens generates $36,600 per month. This second blog about video cards makes $41,790 per month. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to generate thousands of blog posts using ChatGPT and Midjourney. And the best part? I'm giving away the script that I've been using for free. At the end of this video, I'll share with you the key to doubling or even tripling your blog revenue. So, make sure you stick around till the end. Here's an outline of what we'll go through in this video. We're going to scrape relevant questions from Google using automation. We'll then use a script to generate thousands of blog posts. Then we'll generate an AI illustration for our blog post using Midjourney. And finally, we'll upload our first blog post. But before that, let's talk about the exciting world of blogging using none other than John as our example. He decided to create a website all about bed mattresses. John got to work and started cranking out blog posts comparing the top 10 mattresses and is your mattress causing you back pain? were just a couple of his gems. Before he knew it, people were flocking to his site like moths to a flame. Naturally, John was over the moon. He decided to take things up a notch and applied to the Google AdSense program. And guess what? He got accepted. That meant he could sit back, relax, and let the money roll in while he snoozed away on his comfy mattress. If you're looking to achieve the same level of success as John, there's one crucial step you'll need to take, create a blog. And while there are plenty of blogging platforms out there to choose from, I recommend WordPress.org for its ease of use and affordability. In fact, the only expense you'll incur are the cost of purchasing a domain name and hosting. Now I know what you're thinking, creating a blog from scratch sounds like a daunting task, but don't worry because I've got you covered. While I won't go through every single step in this video, we'd be here all day, I have included a handy tutorial in the description box below that will guide you through the process of creating your very own website using WordPress. Now that we've got our blog set up, it's time to start thinking about the theme. The great news is you can choose any topic that you're passionate about. However, it's important to keep in mind that certain categories like finance and health fall under the YMYL or your money or your life category, making it harder for a new blog to rank. So what's the solution? Niche down. This means identifying a smaller, more specific audience to target within your chosen category. For example, instead of starting a blog about chickens, you could focus specifically on raising chickens. This makes your content more unique and specialized, which can help you stand out from the competition. For the purposes of this video, let's say our chosen category is graphics cards. To niche down further, we'll focus specifically on NVIDIA graphics cards. Of course, you can choose any sub-niche that you like as long as there's an audience for it. When it comes to blogging, coming up with ideas for posts can be one of the biggest challenges you'll face. Traditionally, bloggers have relied on tools like Ahrefs and SEMrush to manually research keywords and generate content ideas. This process can be both costly and time-consuming. SEO Minion makes it easy to identify high-traffic keywords and phrases that are relevant to your niche. This powerful Google extension is designed to help you scrape data from Google search results and identify key questions that people are asking related to your niche. One of the most important features of SEO Minion is its ability to download a list of PAAs, or people also ask questions and answers. These questions are crucial because they're what people are actively searching for on Google every day. And with SEO Minion, you can generate a list of PAAs in just a few minutes without having to spend hours manually researching keywords. To get started, simply search a keyword on Google and choose the PAA level that you want to search. The program will then loop through every PAA question and generate more related questions based on your keyword. For this example, we'll set the PAA level to 4, but you can go as high as 8 levels if you want to. Once you click Go, the program will start looping through every question and answer. When it's finished, simply click Download this data and the program will generate an Excel file with the .xlsx extension. Open the file and you'll have a list of questions and answers related to your keyword that you can use to generate content ideas for your blog. As you can see, we have a list of 136 PAA's questions and the respective answer. It's important to note that we'll only be using the PAA title and text columns. So go ahead and delete the other columns by right-clicking on the column header, then clicking on Delete Column. Once you're done, the result should look like this. Now, rename PAA title to topic and text to context. So this next part is going to blow your mind. We'll be using our Python script alongside ChatGPT to generate a blog post for every question we've scraped. And as promised, it's only going to take a single click. You'll need to be able to run a Python script for this part, so I'll leave a detailed guide on how to set up Visual Studio Code with Python in the description box. Once that's done, 
Don't forget to import the OpenAI library by writing pip install OpenAI inside the VS Code terminal. The next step is to like this video if you're finding it helpful. Now, go to the description of this video and open the GitHub link. Copy the whole code. Now we're going to create a Python file. Right-click in Explorer section and select New File. Now, let's give it a name. Autoblog.py sounds good. Now, paste the code into the newly created file. Now we need to change the value of the OpenAI key. If you don't already have an API key, please refer to this video. Once you've created an OpenAI API key, change the part of the code that requires the key. Just a tip, make sure that the input.csv file is in the same folder as your autoblog.py script. Now, we simply click the execute button and wait for the program to do its magic. I suggest you create a copy of the input.csv file with four lines and run the program. That way, we'll know if the program works properly without waiting for a long time. The output.csv file should be generated inside the same folder as our script. Now, open the output.csv file and check its contents. You should have a similar result. After that, you'll be able to run the script again, this time with all the lines. Now, here's the thing. Processing all these questions is going to take a little bit of time, about five seconds per question. So, if you've got a long list of questions in your file, you might want to brew yourself a nice cup of coffee or tea if you prefer. This is the power of AI when used correctly. It can save you thousands of hours of manual labor and thousands of dollars. Now, I thought, why not create an AI-generated image to go alongside our AI-generated blog post? So, let me introduce you to our new friend, Midjourney. I've already explained the process of using Midjourney in this video, so if you want more details, be sure to check it out. The first blog post will be about which is the best NVIDIA graphics card? So let's generate a cool image of a NVIDIA graphics card. I typed forward slash imagine plus the description of the image that I'd like to generate, which in this case happens to be a NVIDIA graphics card on fire. My expectations were low, but I was pleasantly surprised by the results. I was presented with four images, all of which were great, but I decided to go with the third image as it stood out more. Now, the final step is to create the post using WordPress. Once you're logged into your WordPress account, click on Posts, then click Add New. Here, we'll add a title, our AI-generated image, and our main content. You can divide it into different subheadings. The choice is yours. Now, click on Publish, and your posts should be saved. Now you can create wonderful blog posts and start making passive income, just like John. Now, as promised, here's my secret to double or triple your passive income. Once you've built up enough traffic, you should start to offer extra products such as guides, physical items, and affiliate links. All of those will earn you extra income on top of your Google AdSense income. That will put you one step closer to becoming financially free, and that's the objective of our channel. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you enjoy this type of content. You can also run over to the 10x Revenue Discord group if you want to ask me any specific questions. See you in the next one.